NCBS is the National Center for Biological Science. Uh, it's a center of the Tata Institute for Fundamental Research. NCBS, located in Bangalore, uh, is perhaps its largest uh, center for basic fundamental research in biology. It's situated within the Agricultural University at, at Bangalore, and we are on a beautiful 2,500 acre campus, and of which we have about a 40 uh, acre little piece. We have three institutions on our campus. We have the National Center for Biological Science. We have in STEM, uh, the Institute for Stem Cell and Regenerative Medicine. And we have the um, Center for Cell and Molecular Platforms, which is a core technology institute providing uh, input for our core technology resources. And together, we, at this point in time, have about 50 uh, faculty. NCBS was set up with a mandate of encompassing all the skills present in biology. Because cell biology is so fundamental to all of biology, uh, the work that we do has connections to many, many aspects. So it has, uh, it has connections to how, a, how the inside of a cell works, people call it signaling or trafficking, how things move inside the cell. It also uh, connects to how a cell is building up into bigger levels of organization, like tissues and, and so on. And what we do is we bring in uh, ideas from physics, and more recently from computer science. And we try and use those two uh, sets of ideas uh, to address this, turns out to be this very, very complicated question about how the organization inside the cell is built up. INSTEM is an institute for the study of regenerative uh, biology and medicine. Researchers at INSTEM are trying to focus on theme-based research activities uh, where each theme uh, embodies a very central question uh, in uh, stem cell research and stem cell research applications. Herein lies an opportunity not only for understanding new biology, but also being able to translate the findings uh, towards regenerative medicine. And uh, although there are many areas in the country where cell biology is being studied intensely, including NCBS, uh, there was no dedicated institute of stem cell biology. And the idea of setting up NSTEM was to fill this gap. My research fits into the broad theme of epithelial homeostasis and inflammation, which is one of the themes at INSTEM. And we're broadly trying to understand uh, the normal development of epithelial tissues like the skin and what happens when the development goes awry, like in the case of tissue inflammation. Understanding the field biology that we have um, in, uh, uh, as a focus of our campus and building a chemical ecology program uh, again brings together a set of researchers who work uh, on questions about evolution, ecology, uh, and chemistry. Uh, and, and that's another uh, set of uh, interdisciplinary sort of connections that we are trying to build at NCBS. I primarily study evolution and ecology, and I use bacterial and insect model systems uh, in my work. So uh, my research focuses on understanding how organisms adapt to new habitats and new situations. Uh, so we would like to understand the ecological factors and the genetic basis of how species will move from one place to another or experience environmental change and, uh, and react to that change. I basically work on uh, populations of animals and plants in the wild. Uh, and I look at how uh, they have evolved, what their past is. Uh, and try to think about how that information may be relevant for um, either projecting their future or thinking about how they may, they may be impacted by changes in the future. One of the most exciting areas of, of biology that I think has happened at NCBS is our new understanding of how the cell membrane uh, works. Uh, it's, a, it's an understanding that brings in a very strong perspective from, from theory um, and brings in a perspective of active organization which is connected to how the utilization of energy uh, is used to build structures inside a cell. Uh, I work on how uh, molecules are organized on the cell surface and within the cell and how the nature of this organization uh, impacts the processing and management of information. What's really exciting and also I guess in the future maybe transforming some of the views of and some of the understanding of uh, cell membrane organization is that we can show now that um, in fact 
particles at the cell membrane are organized by an under underlying cytoskeleton, by the actin cytoskeleton, and this is a fairly new concept. And CBS, INSTEM, and CCAM, the three institutes here, have combined to put together, I would say, extraordinary resources for research. And the range of resources for research that we have here uh, would compare with the best places anywhere in the world. And amongst these resources, I believe we have an extraordinary microscopy and uh, flow cytometry facility, which, um, which uh, encompasses the range of, of technologies that go from uh, allow a researcher to look at single molecules to large animals in, in, in this context and explore dimensions that would not be possible otherwise. NCBS and INSTEM uh, are going uh, great places. Uh, they, they are uh, perhaps uh, charting new territories in understanding biological science. Together, I think we are in, a, in an extraordinary position where the future seems extremely bright and the possibility is enormous. But the, the wonderful thing about this is that it's very hard and, it's, and it would be challenging today to predict where we will be 10 years from now because I think the world, is, world of science is wide open for us.